So uh, when I came to Hong Kong, I was shocked about the uh, service quality in, in the restaurant mm -hmm. because they often clean up the table even before I finish my, my food. And uh, I learned that this is uh, just a culture, not mm -hmm. really about whether they are kind or unkind. Mm -hmm. But you know, cleaning the table in the middle of the, uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the lunch or dinner implies that they are extremely rude in Korea. So there's a different way of understanding the same thing. Another thing I shocked about in Hong Kong is um, students chanting at UST. You may not know yet, but Hong Kong UST has a very interesting culture. Uh, probably February you will see that a lot of students come out in the atrium uh, and then they shout. They promote their society, uh, which is very energetic, uh, mm -hmm. many good things, but at the same time, I've never expected that kind of things in my life. <laughs> and then, um, was interesting, yes. Yeah, so I think the culture here is a little different from mainland China mm -hmm. too. It's maybe more open-minded, more mm -hmm. uh, uh, crazy maybe. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> okay. And actually, um, I'm a fan of K-pop, so have you ever heard, heard about K-pop and Korean pop? Okay, K-pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, of course. So, uh, which Even, singer do you like best? Um, I, I know a lot of girl groups, <laughs> of course, uh, uh, but uh, there's a group having a few members and then one of them, I mean the boy group, mm -hmm. uh, one of uh, the members' name is Woo Young, the same yeah. as me. Do you know that group? Mm, no. Uh, 2, 2, 2 a.m. or 2 p.m. Oh. Maybe 2 p.m. There's a member whose name is Woo Young. So if you Google my name on the web, um, I can of course find out my website, my academic website, but you can see several videos and other information about him. He's quite famous and popular. It's such a coincidence you have the same name with a um, popular singer. He's younger than me. <laughs> yes, that's right. So, um, other than like the music thing, mm -hmm. what other hobbies do you have in your spare time? Um, okay, because now I have two kids, mm -hmm. I couldn't really spend my time uh, doing something else mm -hmm. rather than spending my time with my kids. But uh, whenever I have some time, I try to do exercise. I like sports a lot. Table tennis, basketball, tennis, wow. swimming. I'm not good at soccer, unfortunately. <laughs> But still, I, I do like to play, so all kind of sports, but somehow I got some injury last, last month, so I couldn't really do ex exercise nowadays, but still, um, whenever I have time, I try to, to do more exercise. So it's like, it'll be quite different from wearing the t-shirt, wearing the, the formal shirts and suits and sitting in the office. That's right. Um, you know what? I only wear the long trouser and then shirt whenever I have a class. <laughs> so on campus, many people couldn't recognize me because I always wear a short and then t-shirt and then hang around. It's so different from yeah, from what we've seen in class. Okay. <laughs> you may be uh, you may be a very good father because you spend a lot of time with your chi uh, children. I hope so, but only my sons can tell me whether I'm a good father or not. I want to be a good father. I'm trying, but I don't know. And you're bound to be one. Yeah. Do you want to show your kids photos today? Um, yeah, yeah, why not? Audience. So I have... Um, this is the picture I have. This is my second boy, who is oh, now two wow. years old. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, this is my older one, turned to be six. So, uh, as you see, the younger one looks more like me. <laughs> and the older one uh, looks more like his mother. The only difference is that the um, younger one has a smaller eyes, like me. <laughs> older one has a little bit bigger eyes, like his mother. That's it. You're so cute. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. So cute. So, how do you... Uh, describe your style of teaching, like uh, casual or uh, straight, or just uh, follow the a uh, book very tightly. Um, okay, so in the early career of my teaching, I tried to make a very tight relationship between my lecture and the things that is covered by the textbook. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but now I'm more flexible. Um, I tried my, my best to communicate with my students and try to see what they find more difficult and what they find more interesting. So I have tentative schedule to cover this and that, but as the semester goes, I adjust my plan, I re revise my plan. In the end, um, of course I try to teach as much as I can, but at the same time I try to pick, select of the mm -hmm. topics that make my students happier, I hope. So, uh, well, can I have mentioned that during your uh, lecture you mm -hmm. have also have a pet phrase. What's that? Uh, like, <laughs> ah, I see. Um, that is my <laughs> habit. Uh, okay, so that is from my academic advisor. Okay, uh, whose name is Andres Bloom, at, mm -hmm. now at the University of Arizona. And then I know that he learned it from his academic <laughs> advisor. Okay, so this is uh, learning. So, uh, so why, why is that? Why do I do this? Why does he do that? Yeah. Uh, because sometimes when I explain something and I couldn't come up with things to say immediately. Mm -hmm. I need some time to think. It's a lag, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a bit um, embarrassing to, to be silent mm -hmm. for a few seconds. So, I don't know. I didn't really mean it, but I say something, <laughs> some sounds. Um, it makes my brain run <laughs> faster, kind of. It's a habit. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> um. So, talking about the students and your teaching style, mm -hmm. um, we really want to know that what is the most interesting, funniest, or weirdest question that you ever come across from students? Um, one student asked me, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, why? Why do you want to know, right? Um, well, you look very young. Thank you very much. Um, that's a good thing. We've uh, seen some uh, comments mm -hmm. from CWiki, it's a website where students can post their comments from professors. What, what, where is it? Uh, where you can... <laughs> I, I, cannot, I cannot find it out, okay. Yeah. It's the but same as like a uh, rate my professor in the US? Yes, I think Something so. Something like that. Yeah. And um, there is a sweet comment mm -hmm. from, uh, from the website mm -hmm. that saying that you're a young girl killer. <laughs> And, uh, Do I kill somebody? Because <laughs> okay. the front seats, you know, mm -hmm. the girls and the boys, mm -hmm. um, the, the ratio of the girls and boys mm -hmm. number are like 5 to 1. And like um, most of the students sitting in front are girls, so... and like I don't think so. <laughs> really? Do you really see that more female students come in the so. front? I think so. We often sit in the front. Okay, I see. I see. That's, that's good. Um, and um, also there's somebody s saying that you, like, um, act cute unintentionally. <laughs> like, <laughs> I see. I have no idea about that. Um, so, what do you think about the, um, the comments? Uh, uh, it's good to know that students like me, mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, I do my best to make everyone happy, <laughs> rather than just female students. So it's a part of the failure I have. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, no. <laughs> so um, um, it's always good, um, you know, giving the good impression to somebody else is a good, good, good thing. But uh, I want to encourage uh, male students <laughs> to come and see me because, you know, as I told you, I like sports. So mm. if they come, I play basketball with them together, uh, table tennis together, why not? I, I, can, I can go and hike with them, I, I can even drink some beer with them, um, I will not pay, <laughs> just kidding. Um, so, yeah, let's see. So, but uh, it's, it's mm -hmm. good to know, thank you. <laughs> Maybe it's because your personality is really attractive to, uh -huh. to those students. I, I hope, it's a good thing. Uh, and, uh, and maybe there are some uh, critical comments mm -hmm. from the Suiki as well. Mm -hmm. <coughs> like they complain about your uh, work cloud is very large. Oh, I see. And maybe your criteria of the exam is mm -hmm. a little bit too straight. I see. Mm, so. um, that's my policy. And uh, 
I think it's my responsibility to make students work harder. Right? So I do my best to make it happen. Higher standard and uh, harder workload, heavier mm -hmm. workload, all implies that you spend more time on my lecture, right? Uh, so I know um, as a student who take several different courses, big burden in one course uh, is not really good. Um, then I don't think uh, the workload I have in my like my course is really way above than the other course, maybe slightly above. Yeah, just as slight, far yeah. as far as I understand, um, my teaching evaluation, the workload part, people used to say some people a bit more, a bit less, but on average, okay. it's like a similar level. So I, I like that comment, actually. <laughs> yeah. But I will keep my policy, <laughs> no matter who says what. <laughs> That's my, my philosophy. Yeah, so um, the last questions mm -hmm. that we have for you is actually for, for the students that are now or later watching this video. Mm -hmm. um, is that, do you have some suggestion, suggestions for the students who want to get good grades in your class? Um, okay, don't miss the lecture. Don't sleep in the lecture. If you don't understand something, don't hesitate to raise your hand and ask your question. It's, it's okay. If the question is too simple, don't worry. Okay? I will answer the question. I will repeat. I'm happy to repeat what I just taught. That's fine. Okay? Um, do your homework by yourself. Then you will see that questions should be similar enough in the midterm and final. Okay? So um, do we have to spend a lot of time reading books and reciting the content? Okay, another important thing, yes, that's a good comment. I suggest you to try to draw all the pictures, all the graphs in your textbook by yourself. Okay? I mean, of course, all is exaggerating. You don't need to draw everything, but mm -hmm. there are a few important graphs. In the exam, I will ask you to draw those in the question. Okay? So, so you need to draw the graphs mm -hmm. to explain something. So it's in the homework session? Um, or? Sometimes I don't explicitly say draw the graph and explain. But the best and easiest way to explain something is to draw the graph and then rely on the graph to explain things. Writing a graph is very, very important mm -hmm. in my course. And not only in my course, but also in every economics course. Graph is very yeah. useful. And do we need to memorize the uh, uh, Danny, Danny Fashion? Definition? Definition. Oh, definition? Not at all. Um. I will never ask you to reproduce the definition of elasticity. But instead, I will ask you to calculate it. Mm -hmm. I will ask you to interpret the definition in the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So memorizing, um, of course, you need to understand it. Mm -hmm. but no memorization. It doesn't yeah. help. And what about, uh, do you have something to say to those who wants to major in economics in the future? Um, okay, so I understand that students are very confusing, confused um, about their major choice. So they try to think about what is the major that guarantees a good job. Okay, I had the same question. Um, even when I pursue my PhD mm -hmm. in economics, what field should I study? Subfield, game theory, mm -hmm. econometrics, or macro, empirical data analysis, and so on. The same, it's all the same. Uh, the key is you find out the subject that you like the most. It's not really about whether that subject will guarantee a better job or not. Because the, the reason is very simple. If you find that a particular subject provide a better salary in the end, then many students will think that this is a good to go, okay, good subject to pursue, right? And therefore, more students will work on it, and then later competition will be severe, and then salary will be lower, okay? This is called arbitrage in economics. So, your choice will be realized as a salary after four or five years and then no one can tell whether the same field will be still hot 
right? So don't worry too much about that kind of things, but think about yourself. Do I like economics? If your answer is yes, then the second question is, do I like economics more than other things? If your answer is yes, then do study major, uh, study economics. Um, otherwise, if you think you like some other subject, but you want to choose economics because economics may give you more opportunity to, to have a good job, it's not the right answer. It's not the right question to ask. Okay? Yes, uh, it's really impressive. Yeah. Thank you. And yeah, and that's basically all we would like to know about. Okay. Yeah. And thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank thank you very much. much. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hope you can edit well, <laughs> <laughs> and then make yeah. it good. Um, and please share the video. I mean, the final outcome with me whenever it's ready. Sure, sure. And take your time. Thank you. Sure.